hello viewers this is Ajhor Rafi once again welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to get free domain hosting and the process to get free business or work email with the free domain hosting and then finally we are going to set up a WordPress website and I'm going to show you how to customize the website to give it a better look so let's move to the Chrome browser first of all you will need to have a Gmail account signed in so I am signed in with a Gmail account and I'm going to copy the address and then putting it to notepad for further use and after that we need to go to a website which is Freenom hit enter here is the website I'm going to attach this link into the video description for your use okay so after coming to the website page you you have to put the keyword or the domain you are looking for so i am looking for a domain for my name Ajharul rafi and then i'm going to click on check availability okay so here we have got ajharulrafi.tk i'm not going to take this one ajharulrafi.ml this one is already taken by someone else actually um, me for a test purpose and here we have got ajharulrafi.ga ajharulrafi.cf and gq okay so i'm moving forward with ga all right so i'm going to click on get it now and here we go price is zero so get it now and then after the selection we have to uh, move to the top and we'll see the checkout button we have to click here and then from this page we have to select the time period so i'm going to click here and then here 12 months for free and select then click on continue and from this page here total due today is zero usd for this domain so we have to click on uh, sorry actually use social sign in so as i have mentioned you have to signed in with a or you need to be signed in with a gmail account or a facebook account so as i am signed in with gmail i'm going to click here on sign in then click on the email address all right so verification link sent to your email so we are going to receive a verification email within few seconds and here is the email appeared freedom email verification open the email and click on this link now we can cross them out and we have to put information here review and check out or personal information company name uh, you can put your name or whatever you have okay and then I have to after after entering all the information you have to click here on I have read and agree to the terms and condition and then click on complete order okay then we have to select all squares with vehicles this is a test so squares with vehicles okay we're done now click on next and then again squares with vehicles and I think I'm done verify all right and it's loading okay so here we have got a error page but it's all right we just need to reload the page i believe okay so we, we need to copy this part freenom.com and then remove the other parts paste the freenom.com only and then hit enter and then we have to click on sign in and we have to click on use social sign in And then click on Ajrography. Okay. So you might going to get the error page, but it, please don't worry. Uh, there is a bug. Uh, for a few days, they are going to resolve them soon. So here, hello Ajrol. I am signed in with my account. And now click on services and click on my domains. And here we go. We have got the domain. All right. So. We have got the free domain already for 12 months here is the registration date and here is the expiry date all right and now it's time to get our hosting plan for further 
efforts okay so i'm going to a new tab click infinity free i should write infinity free and then hit enter here is the website i'm going to add this website link into the description field of the video and here we have to sign up click on sign up and then we have to put the email address so let's copy the email from here paste then put the password all right then click on i am not robot and select all the image switch storefront this one this one this one and this one i think i'm done click on verify and then we have to uh, select this part i have read and agree to the terms and service or terms of service then click on sign up okay so here we have got another error page but it's all right let's just uh, move the register or oh, actually keep the register and hit enter you might need to try second time so i'm going to put the email address then password again free service so we have to go through some hassles but it's all right traffic lights as long as they are going to work or they're going to be usable by us so i'm going to click on again sign up so here we go on the second try we have got the verify your email address so you have to click on the verification link from here okay verify email address click on this and then click on the button verify email address and suspicious link no problem click on proceed all right so i have created or sorry actually verified our email address and it's time to create our hosting uh hosting account okay so click on new account and we have some tasks to do so let me cross them out cross them out okay and we have to integrate the uh, name servers to our domain name okay so to do that we have to click on uh, we have to go back to our freenom website and then click on manage domain and then click on management tools and then name servers click on use custom name servers and then we have to uh, point the name servers this one ns1 dot epizy.com so i have to copy this one and paste to all of these fields and then we have to make a change on each field from the second row to it should be name server 2 name server 3 name server 4 name server 5 okay and then click on change name servers all right so it's done and it's time to put our domain name into this field okay so i'm going to copy the domain name from here and paste it to here all right and then we have got account username it's automatically generated and account password it is also automatically generated now time to click on i'm not a robot and let's do some capture selection and then click on next and then again traffic lights click on next all right and then click on create account all right so we might have to wait for a few uh, minutes to get them work but let me try if all are good ns1 ns2 ns3 ns4 ns5 okay so all are good so let's try again okay so it's working now we are so here we are setting up this account for you and now it's time to click on open control panel 
and here if you want to get offers emails then click on i approve otherwise you can reload the page and here we go we are now in our free hosting cpanel page and it's time to set up a wordpress website and actually integrate a wordpress website with the uh, hosting to get our free business email okay so i am moving back uh, sorry i'm moving uh, down uh still i uh, until i found this one software close apps installer then click on this button and then click on install button and here we go let's verify choose protocol let's keep it to https www dot and then this domain all right and then in directory wordpress and site name let's put ajharul rafi oh so i think i have to change this one to this one all right no problem okay and then my wordpress blog instead i would uh, say okay and then let's keep them as there and then i'm going to click on select this theme and then we have to click on install and it's copying files and folders to wordpress dashboard or actually cpanel and here we go congratulations the software was installed successfully so if we just click on administrative url okay so here i am on the wordpress dashboard page and let's visit the website from here and we're actually going to edit and give it a better look but now i i'm about to see how to get the free business email okay from the cpanel okay so i am here again on the cpanel and then move down until you find this email email accounts section click on email accounts okay so here we are on the email accounts page we just have to put the email extension that we want and we'll get the domain added to the email so let's put ajharul at the rate ajharulrafi.ga and then put the password okay so we'll need the password soon so i'm going to click uh, click on add all right so we have created here our first email address we can create 10 email addresses like this okay custom email addresses and here to receive emails on the email address you will need to set the mx record for your domain name to mxepzi.com so i'm going to copy this part and then i have to click here and here i have to put mx record okay and then click on add all right so we are done with the email setup now let's just test if the email address is working so go to the cpanel home and then find the email section here and then click on webmail so one problem you can't integrate this uh, email address into your gmail or with your gmail until you buy the paid version or paid hosting okay so you have to use this link round cloud mail okay or webmail to use your email address so i'm going to put the recently created email address which is ajharul at the rate ajharul rafi and then dot and then put the password that i have just mentioned which will be needed okay and then click on login and here we go we are on the email inbox page on round cube and if you want to uh, send an email with the gmail oh sorry with the email business email then we have to click on compose 
and put the recipient's email address so i'm going to put mine uh, my personal email which i use for business purposes and then i have to put subject here either okay so i have wrote an email if you want to attach files then you can add as well but now i'm going to send the email to mdrafi9 at gmail.com and I'll, I'm, I'll show you on my gmail inbox okay so i'm going to click on send okay so message has been sent if we go to the send folder then here is the message on our client board but if i just go to my gmail inbox from here so i'm going to put gmail and here we go as well hey dear what's up okay so we have received the email so now let me taste if the email uh, gets into the inbox on the other other side so i'm going to put ajharul at uh, ajharul rafi dot ga and then hey man let's write hey man hey and then click on send and the message has been sent let's go back to the client platform here we go we have received the email address from our uh, gmail that i have sent so open this one double clicked and here we go hey all right so we have got our professional email address as well or professional business email address as well from the free domain and hosting uh, plans okay so now we are going to work on this project okay so here is the website we have got by default after installing wordpress into our uh, hosting cpanel okay and i'm going to re remove these parts and i'm going to make changes into the website and I'm going to talk about these features uh, and the working process okay so first of all we have got uh, if we if we want to make any change on the website then we must have to do this in our uh, up, uh, wordpress control panel okay from our wordpress control panel and here we have got a notification maybe this one is for an update of the theme and now we are going to ignore updating the theme uh, for instance and now moving back to posts section and if we just click on post section we have got the uh, options here all posts to see all of the posts that we have got in our wordpress website okay so if i just click on open link in new tab then then i will be able to show you something so here we have got one post published into our website so we are going to we are going we are seeing this post here as you can see all right and then let's go back to this one add new post by clicking on this one we'll be able to add a new blog post into our website and we'll be able to add description image videos listings quote etc etc whatever we, we want to okay? so i'm going to actually create a new post and i'm going to show you how to add a post into your uh, newly created website so i'm going to put a title here our first blog post okay and then i'm going to copy paste some demo informations like lorem spam text okay here is the lorem, lorem spam text so i am going to let's see what we have added we have added the uh, title and then i am going to copy this part come on it's working so slowly i just copied by hitting ctrl c and then i am going to put it here all right and now i am hitting enter and i'd love to add another 
paragraph so let's take this one and let's actually delete this part okay so let's take this one and paste it here all right and now I want to have an image added here so for this I'm going to upload an image from my computer and to upload an image we have to click on plus button here add block and then you have to click on image and then we can upload a photo from our computer so I'm going to show you the process for example if I am going to upload this image it's being uploaded and it's uploaded and we can add alter text and other information so you can do the settings so for this video I'm not actually going to show you all the settings for posts and actually now I'm going to show you how to add what to say how to add let's let's put some text here and let me gather the word that I'm going to show you actually okay so I'm going to put them here and then we have got another block and let's put uh, let's click on plus and then yeah we will be able to add lists we'll be able to add quotes we'll be able to add audio if you if we have we'll be able to add uh, YouTube videos other videos and we have got other options elements let's uh, inline elements we have got inline image and uh, common blocks here paragraph image heading cover audio gallery file and then let's see formattings we have got the formatting um, things tables if, if you want to add table then you will be able to add a table here so I'm actually going to add a uh, quote here and I am going to place this part once again as a quote and let's put it here okay and then click on another block and now I want to add an image oh, sorry add a video so to add a video I have to click here and then we will be able to add a video directly from YouTube but if you want to add a video uh, outside of YouTube then we have to click here on YouTube and then you can upload it from our computer or from any URL okay so for example of this video I am actually going to use YouTube so I'm going to youtube.com and to avoid any issue with uh, copyright so I'm going to use one of my videos link uh, copy oops copy link URL okay and then I'm going to click on insert from URL paste it here and then enter okay so now I have added cover letter sample we need job okay my one of my videos if I just click here then it's going to be played okay so that's how we have to create a post on our blog so I'm going to click on publish actually before publishing let me show you a few things so here make sure your blog post is public when it, when it is fully ready and then if you want to uh, publish it immediately then you can you can keep it as it is but if you want to get your blog post published later and if you want to schedule the blog post then you can click here on immediate button and then you will get the option to select the date okay and time all right so now the post format standard let's keep them as they are and in categories uh, let's see in categories I am actually going to add this post as into uh, lorem spam category so lorem and then ip sum ipsum okay and then I want to add a tag lorem ip sum ipsum and then let's just hit enter and click on add new category to add it as a category and it's selected as I have just added and then if we just uh, click on publish without adding a featured featured image so I'm actually going to show you how featured image works so I'm going to click on publish and then click on yes publish and reload this page and we are going we have done we have got our uh, blog post here okay so I'm going to open this blog post and here you go we have got all the informations all right
and then someone if, if someone comes to come visit our blog post and if want to read the previous post then they will click on this uh, button if they want to share our post on Facebook Twitter and other social media sites they will be able to do that from here and if someone want to make a comment then will, they will be able to make a comment from here okay by clicking on submit after writing the message all right so let's move back and let's make the website look better so I'm actually going to create few more posts okay so I have added few more posts onto our website and now let's just visit the website to see how is it looking now all right so here it is how is it looking right now into our uh, web page but we have many things to do and actually we we, we missed to add the uh, featured image for this post so I'm going to collect the featured image and to go to here edit Oh, this one not 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 this this is not the post. Uh, where is the maybe this one? I hope so. Yes, this one. Okay. So I am going to upload a photo as say a featured photo and let's. Oops. Maybe we can use from media library this one, and select. Or actually for instance if you are looking for data entry related tutorials you can watch other videos from my channel all right so this is an advertisement you can say and let's click on update and our post has been updated and if you just reload this page you will have the data entry tutorial post here or image added okay so here is the latest post and we have got this featured image added before the text okay so here we have got a slider on our website and we have got other information fields or post fields and if we just open a post then we are going to see all the contents okay so this is the basic part and now I'm going to actually make uh, changes to this part uh, to add or make changes to uh, this menu okay so menu bar all right so to do this we have to go to this uh, appearance page oh before I go to uh, change the menu pages I should show you what are the work of pages so I'm going to click on all page which we have got in our website and we have got privacy policy and sample page and we want to add about us page contact us page and services page or maybe a blog posts page okay so to do this we have to click on add new and we have to click on about here write our title of the page about us and then we can add few uh, few information fields here so let's see what we can get from lorem spam so i'm going to put this part into about us page section and click on publish all right so our about page is ready and now click on again and I add new to add let's say uh, blog posts and let's take some information from here page all right publish publish and then the last one i want to add is the contact us page all right and actually i'm going to keep it blank because i'm actually going to show you how to add a contact form into your contact us page okay so we are done with the pages but they won't available here immediately we are going to work on them so let's do this uh, after a few minutes but before that let's talk about comment section so this is the section uh, where you will find any comment if a person make a comment on your blog post 
then the comment will be appeared here and will be able to approve or dis unapprove a comment you can reply from here you can also delete a comment comment or mark as a spam as well okay and from appearances this is the part from where we will have to we will be able to make all the changes okay all the changes into our website so let's reload this page go to home page and this is the page what we have got and now let's just make the changes that we want so click on appearance click on oh okay so from appearance uh, option or feature from themes we'll be able to add themes we'll be able to change the theme so here we have got the, our current theme which is active as you can see active but if we just go here you can click on activate you can click on activate and if you want to add more themes then you can click on add new theme and we'll be able to add more themes uh, from uh, let me actually show you okay from new tab you'll be able to find um, thousands of themes from here as you can see and add them and customize them as you want all right so in this video I'm actually not going to show you the things but in a future video i'll cover everything okay so now to make the changes into our website we have to click on customize and here is the customize bar and we'll be able to see live of the changes okay so i actually don't want to see this part actually this slider for example so i am going to uh, from here uh, rate options okay I'm going to slider options and then this one is by default on but I don't want it although it's looking nice for example I'm actually going to click on off and you are going to see this is disappeared okay so we don't have a slider now but we have got the uh, got the post with featured images all right and now click on publish okay now let's click on this back arrow button and then layout options uh, we have currently we have got right sidebar as you can see but if we just make a change here no sidebar then it will be it will uh, be in the center as you can see all right but we want a sidebar so I am actually going to if, if we just click on left sidebar then we are going to get this post here on right side and uh, in the left left side we have got the sidebar but it's not looking good so I am going to place it to right sidebar all right and let's click uh, keep the uh, block excerpt on uh, let's see what happens if we just click on off we are going to see full post on the uh, on the home page okay and that's not actually a, a professional looking website that's that won't be a professional looking website if we just keep it off okay so we are going to click on on and then click on publish all right so now let's move back by clicking on back arrow and then theme colors section that's all good typography that's all good and let's make changes to social media icons we want our Facebook page or social, uh, Twitter page or Instagram page to be appeared on the right side so let's uh, here okay so let's uh, add them here and after adding the uh, handles then our menu bar will be appeared here and we'll actually going to change these menu bars by default menu bars will be changed okay so I'm going to uh, put my Facebook page or profile here so I'm going to find my page astrography and let's say I've got my Twitter profile here I've got my YouTube channel let's open them to add Facebook profiles actually I'm seeing here one profile Twitter profile all right that's enough I don't want any more pages to be added all right so I'm going to first option let's see what we have got at first we have Facebook so I'm going to copy the Facebook and let's cross this out to make it easier for us and then we have got Twitter copy this URL and let's put it here and then we have got Instagram but 
for this video we are not going to add Instagram but you will be able to add yours okay so now we have got uh, Twitter let's delete we have got uh, uh, YouTube channel so I'm going to add my channel here YouTube and then we have LinkedIn so I'm going to copy and paste it here and here we have got Pinterest, Drivel, Google Plus, Instagram, etc. Okay, so here these buttons have added or has been added. So I'm going to click on publish. All right, so now let's just reload this page and we'll see this is disappeared a new look. Okay, and I'm going to click on Facebook and here we go. My Facebook page has been appeared, her profile has been appeared, and if I click on LinkedIn then here we go my LinkedIn profile all right so this is how you have to integrate or add your website sorry your social handles here okay so let's move back to see what else we have got here nothing so let's move back by click on arrow button and by clicking on arrow button we could be uh, go here site identity so we can actually remove this part if we just uncheck this part okay so I'm actually not seeing a change for okay so it it could not be removed so in this case we can actually add a uh, photo here so for example let's just take a photo uh, background <laughs> I wrote, I made a spelling mistake but it's okay and I want this background uh, for example of my logo right so actually I can add one of my logos uh, so I'm just going to select and here is my logo that I have already added but you can always upload a logo by clicking on upload files and then uh, selecting the files okay so I'm going to add the uh, pre uploaded logo so I'm going to select and make the changes necessary changes and then crop okay so here we are seeing the logo and if we want to see the uh, this text in instead then we can always select this one okay so I'm actually uncheck all right so we have got our logo here and now let's see what we, uh, so side icon so what it means so here you can see for YouTube we are seeing a YouTube icon here okay so for site icon for our website we should place our logos uh, uh, small image part here okay so I am actually going to add a site icon and this one should be this one okay so I'm not going to make any change all right so okay so this should be a square image but I'm actually for this tutorial purpose I'm going to uh, keep it as it is okay so skip crossing and let's just click on publish and here we go we are seeing something get it here and let's reload this page to see and here we go we have got something get it all right so the brighter the image is the brighter you will get the look here okay so now let's move back to colors let's keep it as it is and we can also make the changes if we want uh, publish and I'm not seeing so much so many changes actually uh, okay so this this the this just change the background color okay from the border side so I actually don't I'm not actually liking this uh, border side color so I'm keeping it as it was all right so I'm going moving back and then background image we don't want to add a background image uh, because it will 
it won't look so good okay so i'm actually moving back and then i uh, so at last we are here on the menu and it's time to click on menus and here we can add the menu option so here by default you will see something else but uh, i am seeing my menu and we have got already home button added here this one and then we have to add the other items here so we have created the pages like we have created about us page we have created blog post we have created uh, contact us and all of the pages we are going to add them all add all of the pages here okay so i am going to put them contact us and then click on add items and let's see what we have got we have to click on primary menu to get them show, uh, shown showing up here so i'm going to click on primary menu and here we go home about us blog post contact us all right so now it's time to click on publish okay so let's move back and view locations okay that's all are looking good here so we have to go back and click on widgets so we want to get something here on our right sidebar so i am actually going to add my profile here okay so click on primary sidebar then click on add a widget and then i we have options to add archives audio calendar categories custom html gallery etc etc but i am straightly going to write a about me page okay you can also add video if you want you can add text and other features okay so i'm going to click on about me and title who am i and author name Acharul oops Ach Harul Rafi and then author image so here we have to place an uh, image url so let's find me again so Acharul Rafi let's click on image collect one uh, professional looking image maybe this one okay and then we have to open this image into a new tab and copy the image URL, copy image address and then paste it here okay and in the description field let me take some information from my youtube channel instead of writing something about okay and let's put them here copy and put them in the description field and sure you will you're going to see the changes it's looking so odd because it's it uh, just stands like a long part but a long uh, article so i'm going to remove some of the text see how it is looking okay much better so it's time to click on done and we also want to add a calendar here so to add a calendar let's click on add a widget and search recent posts let's see where is the calendar okay here is the calendar uh calendar and here we go we have got the calendar today is um, <laughs> somewhere it is 9 and somewhere it is 10 okay so this is this is selected in two dates okay let's keep it keep it at, uh, as it is so let's put calendar oh actually let's skip it uh, blank everyone knows what it is okay and actually we want to add a uh, add a uh, search bar here for people to be able to use any keyword or tags to find our post so i'm going to add another widget and click on research here it is and then just title search a post or search, search on our website okay search on our website sorry about the spelling mistakes okay and then click on add widget 
okay so i have to click on done and we actually want this search on our website widget uh, to be placed here so i just need to drag it into the top section and here you go actually middle section and we have got the search widget here all right and now let's just click on publish let's reload the page okay so here we are uh, we are seeing a better version of our website now all right and on about us page if we click then we have got the content whatever you will write on blog posts uh, we should link this page to all of our uh, recent posts okay and on contact us page i am actually going to add how to add a contact us page within few minutes all right so this video is going to be uh, or actually it's already a long video pardon me for this and please let me know by commenting below if you if you have found this video helpful or if i, if I have made you bored okay so let's add some options here on the footer section so footer section means uh, under this part okay so let's see what we can add on footer one uh, we are going to add let's see uh, navigation menu now let's see add recent comments okay let's see comments that's all and then done let's see what what, what we have got here so comments okay it has been added and let's uh, see uh, add footer uh, footer 2 something on the footer 2 is should be recent posts and there should be one post which is most recent done and let's see what we have got recent post all right and then let's Uh, keep three posts okay and then let's move back footer three let's put uh, social media well now text and let's put something else instead let's click on text and text example where is Lauren is pump and I'm going to copy this short text part and put them here okay so now click on publish and reload the page to see what happened into the bottom okay so here are the bottoms and we have to work on few more things to get them uh, uh, look better okay so in this video I am actually not working on them anymore but I hope you got the idea okay so let's move back to home page and here is our website so far a very basic website but you know as a blog site this is the perfect one okay you can create a blog site of any niche like this okay so now let's uh, let me add the contact us from actually let me move back and let's see what else i have to show you here so in the home page settings you can uh, keep your latest posts as, as i have got here okay all of the latest posts into our, into my home page but if you want a static page you can add as well for example if i want to have a static page it will show only one page okay so in, uh, in this case let me show you if i want to uh, see actually not the home page let's see post page okay uh, here about us page if, if I want to see about us page into my home page uh, whenever I am busy anyone is visiting then they will see this part only okay so in this case if you have a business then you can keep your uh, uh, home page with a static page but for our purpose or for this video purpose I am going to keep uh, latest posts okay to see all the posts in our page and i think it's looking better than the static page so i'm moving back to the footer section and we can actually change the uh, the part here 
we can add copyright and then copyright sign then I show Rafi let's let me put but we won't be able to uh, replace this part as the theme is free but still let's see what we can do copyright sign let's download copyright sign image actually copyright sign emo q o p y i g s copyright sign emoji i don't know if my emoji uh, if i have written emojis correctly okay but we have got the things that we are looking for so i'm going to paste it here and then ask harul rafi and let's just keep it as it is okay and then click on publish and here we go copyright c astrography theme by uh, the uh, developer and wordpress okay as it is a free theme all right so if you if you have got a premium theme then then you should you shouldn't have this first or you can you can actually change this part absolutely uh, as you want okay so now let's move back to about we have we're done with almost with anything so well, sorry we are uh, we're done with almost everything so now click on about theme and here are basic information about the theme so actually i do, don't need to spend some time here and additional css if you know uh, coding then this part is for you as i don't know how to code so i'm going to actually uh, keep it as it is okay so here is our final website after making the changes and let me show you how to add the contact us form okay and we have to we have done actually everything customize widgets we have added widgets what are the widgets these are the widgets okay we have added and then we have let's see what we have got we have added menu here are the menus and then what we have done we have done background actually no we we haven't added any background color or background image as it is looking much better in this view all right and then let's see theme editor i am not an expert in css i am not an expert in coding actually so i didn't touch this part okay now let me show you the plugins work plugins so uh, if we just click on install plugins button then we will be able to see all the plugins available i'm actually going to cross them these buttons or uh, pages out because it's looking messy all right so after 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 opening this page into new tab we are going to, we are seeing that what are the plugins activated or sorry installed into our website so akismat anti spam and hello Dolly. these are the plugins added and now I am these are not activated, but now I am going to add a plugin to add a contact form into our contact us page into the website. Okay, let let it uh, let it be loaded. But before that, I am going to click on add new, and then we have to so we have to find the plugin which is Ninja Form write n i n j a f o r m and hit enter and here we go we have to install this plugin by clicking on install now okay so we have installed the plugin and now it's time to click on activate all right so it's activated and to make it working for us we have to click on ninja forms and then click on not now and by default we have got a contact me page but we have to delete this one oops we have to write delete here D L E T. and then we have to click on add new and let's collect contact us and we have got a contact us form name email message and then with the submit button all right so i'm going to cross and 
let's go back to our web website dashboard here and create a new page from here and then we have to put contact us and we click on plus and then let's see here ninja form and we have to put the form here okay and then click on submit or publish publish okay so actually i shouldn't have uh, open this page because I already have a page which is contact us page uh, before so I am actually going to delete this one and I am going to work on the previous page okay so I am actually going to work on this page so edit and then I have to click here and plus button and then we are going to see ninja forms edit and then select a form contact me all right and here we go we have got the form name email and message and then submit button click on update and page updated and if we are just going to visit our website now then here is the website and then click on contact us and we have got the form okay so that's how you have to customize your website uh, this is a very basic customization but if you want to learn uh, the customization of advanced themes please stay tuned subscribe to my channel and let me know by commenting below if you have any interest of watching more videos about uh, wordpress block customization okay so i'd love to uh, make more videos so i hope it, this video was helpful to you and if it was please uh, like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for future updates i have to see in the next video thank you very much